Tomo, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. The deal's done. You've joined the club on a one-year deal. Just how pleased are you with that? Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, since I've come in and trained with the club and with the lads, it's it's been really good and I've enjoyed it a lot. Mm. The manager said a lot about how you've said to him, you feel at home here, you've settled in quickly. You know a couple of the boys already, Adam Clayton, Tommy Rowe, just to name a couple. How easy did that make it for you coming in initially on trial, of course? Yeah, it's, it's always nervous, like it doesn't matter what age you are and things like that. Um, but knowing knowing them and one or two more, it was, it was easier. Mm. You're coming into a group that's fairly young. It's got a sprinkling of, of experienced players. When you're coming in on trial, I suppose it can be difficult to, to try and stamp your authority, but is that something you, you just have to do when you're an experienced player? Um, yeah, you, you can say. Uh, like, to be fair, it's, it's good, like, even with the lads that are here, they want to learn. I'm on trial myself, and they're coming up to me and asking me questions. How do you do this? How do you do that? What should I do here? And it was, it was quite strange for me. I've never been in this situation. Um, but as an older pro and got a lot of experience um, I was telling them speaking to them and showing them and um, no as, as long as lads want to learn then I'm here to help as well What's this summer been like in, in sort of weighing up your options weighing up whether Rovers were the right club for you them doing the same of course with you whether you were the right person to, to bring into the group what's it like as a free agent? Um, well you, you just don't know what you're doing especially the way football's going now it's, uh, it's the older you get it, the harder it's get to find a club um, but no, I spoke to my agent and I just just basically said about trying to find a club to go and train. Um, if if I'm being honest, I had no intentions of going anywhere to sign. It was, uh, I want to get myself fit, I want to be, be as fit as possible. And the best way for that is training at a football club. Mm. There's nothing better and there's nothing harder than that. Um, you could do all the running you want uh, in a gym and on a treadmill and... Uh, on a football pitch yourself, but there's nothing training within a team. And and for the past month, I've absolutely loved it. And um, the gaffer could see that, Steve could see that, the lads could see it. And um, it was it was a question of would you sign? And why not? If 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 I'm enjoying it that much, it doesn't matter about money and things like that. Mm. Um, I've been at, on a lot more money, which I've hated football never really wanted to go every day and um, but being here <laughs> I've enjoyed it more than ever so so why not is that the biggest factor for you then being happy and being able to call somewhere home yeah 100% um, and and again if being honest I didn't think football could it doesn't matter what club you could say you're at um, it would have probably been down to just money mm. um, to it's, it's an easy life money but it don't make you happy and like I said I've not been this happy in, in a long time mm. and without wanting to, to blow your own trumpet I think it's fair to say a fully fit Lee Tomlin is more than a match for League 2 isn't it you, I imagine you're really looking forward to, to showing what you can do yeah 100% um, I, I tried getting back into it last season and if I'm honest I, I probably didn't give it my all yeah, I was probably deciding what to do next um, but again like it's hard. I've not been in that position, so it's even three, four months down the line. It's like you're sitting there twiddling in your thumbs, and you're like, "What do I do?" Um, all I know is to play football. Um, but what I know is I want to be happy if I'm doing it. Hmm. You played in a fair few games. The fans have have all taken to you. They've been asking for you to be announced for the past few weeks or so. Whether you're on social media or not, I'm guessing that you feel that love as well. From whether it's from the changing room and the boys that are here, or from the fans as well. Yeah, no, I get the messages on Instagram and Twitter and things like that. Um, but no, it is good. Um, I want to do well for the club. I want to do well for the the gaffer, the staff, the players. Um, so. I'm here to give my all um, and like I say me me fit me enjoying it um, it can't be bad for the club will it not be nice to see Tomlin 23 on the team sheet rather than try list A, B or C <laughs> yeah yeah I think I was just a bit a bit shocked of, probably you have to take your ego out of it and go like it doesn't matter what what you've done in the game it's you get to a certain age and it and it will happen to probably 70-80% of players Um so it was, it was quite a bit of a shock, really. But mm. no, I, I take thing, I don't take things too serious. So it was a, a laughing joke for me. 
You've signed with just over a week to go until the new season, the final pre-season game against FC United on Saturday. It's pretty much all systems go now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We uh, we have to like start switching on now and and not not forget about the game against FC United. We have to we have to be there, like ready, thinking it's our first game, uh, f- ready for next week against Bradford.